hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to create search view in odoo so the search view is also known as control panel view in odoo so we will be discussing about how to add search view for the patient model so in the previous two videos we already have discussed how to define a form view and how to define a tree view so right now in the screen you are seeing odo 15 community edition where we are continuing our odo 15 tutorials and i have opened the patient's list view so this is the list view and in the top of the list view you can see a search bar over here with filters grow by and favorites so this section that you see on top of the tree view is called as search view so this is search view and we will be seeing about how to define search view for the hospital dot patient model so i have already activated the debug mode in my database and if you click on debugger button here you can see edit view list so i'll do one thing i'll just duplicate this tab and i'll go to sales and here we have quotations and here we have the debugger button and if i click on here and if you scroll down you will see edit control panel view just below the edit view list you have edit control panel view so the search view is also known as control panel view in odoo so you can see edit control panel view so we have this option for sale dot order model but if you come to the previous screen you won't see edit control panel view over here because we haven't defined a search view for this model we haven't defined search view for hospital dot patient so once we define the search view it will come here that is edit control panel view so let's see how to define or how to add search view for this model so i'll go to pycharm and here we have our module om hospital i'll go to the views folder and i will open patient view dot xml so simply what i'll do i'll simply copy this that is tree view and just below the action so that's normal syntax that i have seen and the search view is just defined in this place above the action so you can just uh, name change the id so what we have done is simply taken the copy of the tree view and what i'll do as we have done in the previous video instead of tree we are going to define search view so name the ideas view hospital patient search model should be ir.ui view and you can give a name for the view so i'll give us hospital patient search you can give the name accordingly just try to follow uh, the naming conventions so the model should be hospital dot patient so based on this order will understand for which model you are going you are defining the view then instead of tree i'll put search because we are creating search view so simply i'll give like this and i'll keep the fields here so this is how simple you can define a search view in odoo or i'll just remove this or i will remove all so this is a very simple syntax that you can define a search view an id for the record model ir.ui view give a name specify the model name inside arc put search so based on this odoo will understand it is a search view now i'll just restart the service and i'll go to the ui and i'll upgrade the om hospital module so from here i'll click on upgrade so once the module is upgraded and if you click on here i think you will be getting edit control panel view so just click on this and you can see edit control panel view has been appeared because we have searched or we have added a search view even though it's empty we have added a search view so if you come here and if you click on edit control panel view you can see your code view name external id and search is empty and right now if i search for odoo it doesn't return anything you can see it's not working it's not even filtering the records everything is there it's because we haven't done anything then what we have to do we have to add those fields that we have to search so what i'll do i'll just copy this field from here 
and I'll put here. I'm just putting that we need to search based on the patient name field. So if you go to the model, inside model, we have this field named name. So I'm telling to the system, we have to search based on this name. So I'll just restart and upgrade the module to see the difference. So we'll go to the apps menu and we'll upgrade OM hospital module. So the module has been upgraded. And if you click on search box and if you search, you can see right now the suggestion is coming. Earlier, this was not coming. So I'll do one thing. I'll just remove this line now. I just removed it from the UI. And if I search Odo, you can see there is no suggestion coming right now. It's empty. But what happens if I add, sorry, I'll copy this name, field name, control C, and I'll put it inside the control panel view. I'll just bring back the deleted line, save. And if I refresh, and if you search for Odo, we can see suggestion is coming. Search patient name for Odo. And if we click on OK, you can see the record is getting filtered now if i add another patient just named erp gender female age 20 and i'll save and if i search for erp you can see it's getting filtered now i'll just remove search for odoo you can see it's coming so this is how you can define a simple search view in Odoo. So just assume a case where you need to where we need to add. So I'll do one thing. I'll add one more field to our model that is code. So I'm just adding a new field to our model that is I have just added a new field. Let it be rough and I'll name the string as reference just to store an ID, a unique ID for the patient. I just added a new field called a rough. And what I'll do, I'll just add it in the form view. So here we have our form view. So I'll just add that field to the form view. And if you need, you can add it to the tree view also. So I'll just add it to the tree view and I'll bring it to the search view also so what i have done is i have just added a new field of type character and just added it to the search view form view and tree view so just upgrade the module so don't forget to restart the service once you have made changes inside the python so i'll come here and upgrade the module so the module has been upgraded now you can see you have a new field called a reference so I'll put so we have a character field you can put any reference I'll put HP 001 save and I'll just copy this copy and for ERP I'll put the reference as HP 002 now we can search based on this also right now you can see if you enter this over here it will ask search patient name or search patient reference so if i search for patient name it doesn't return anything because there is no patient name with hp001 but we have a reference with this you can see it's coming now if you need to make the search based on age you can just copy this or if you need to gender also you can copy this and just add it to the search view so like this you can add then you have to upgrade the module so you might feel like upgrading is a bit pop and like what i can say going to the apps menu and upgrading you may feel difficult so in order to reduce that you can just you can see or i'll make a separate video on the same that you can in the next video i'll show you that so right now we will be upgrading from the ui itself so from here i'll upgrade the module hospital management now if i search for age 20 you can see search age 20 you can see that's coming and if i search for erp it's coming so there might be some case where you have to rather than suppose either we can enter patient name suppose a patient will be coming with its name or he can come with its id so system users won't change it 
here to search they won't change below to search they might be normally searching in the first field like manually they will come and search here they won't click down and search on reference so let's see how we can make the single field to make search inside multiple fields so right now if i just what i'm telling is if the system user is entering like this it won't return anything but actually we have a patient with this id so in order to do that you have a key in odoo called filter domain so i'll just come to the odoo add-ons so this is default odoo code find in path and if you search for filter domain filter domain you can see so simply what i'll do i'll just copy this Control c and i'll put it here so let me remove those things and i'll just show you just don't worry let me remove unnecessary codes now okay so what i'm doing is let me adjust the indentation too let me bring back here remove and if you go here you can see what i have done is i have added filter domain and inside filter domain this is an or operator so i'm saying we need to search in name field and unfortunately we get same field name so i'll put rough here so inside filter domain i'm saying we need to search based on name field and reference field and it's a this or operator so here we have put or operator name equal to what user entered or reference equal to what user entered i like self so this is the syntax just we are saying we need to search in both the fields name field and rough field so we'll just upgrade and let's see the difference so i'll click on upgrade so you can see the module is getting upgraded and if you search for hp 001 and if i enter you are getting an error control for extension there is some error maybe i have written something wrong yep because i haven't closed the syntax was wrong you can see again this was missing so let me upgrade once again a square bracket didn't close that's why you get error now so i'll just upgrade the module again and if you search for hp 001 you can see hp 001 we are not moving the screen or mouse to the downside we will search inside patient name itself now we can search odoo also it's returning so using filter domain you can make it to search on multiple fields now if you have an another field you can put or operator here again then put the field here like this this is the syntax so i'll just we have only two names that's why single or operator name rough so this is how you can define a simple search view in odoo so regarding uh, filters and group by i think i'll create a second video of the same so that's it for now if you have any doubts feedbacks and suggestions don't hesitate to reach us over the email that is odoomates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in the social medias like linkedin facebook twitter and instagram so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you